guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be doing a get ready with me family photos. I know I look terrifying in this first clip, but I promise you it gets better. My cheeks are super red from just blow drying my hair. Um, and here I'm just kind of organizing out my stuff for you guys so I can hop into my video. All right, so the first thing that I start out with is my daily hydrating lotion, Cetaphil, Cetaphil, I'm not really sure how to pronounce that, but that is what I start out with. And my second step is to go in with my CoverGirl Olay Advanced Radiance uh, Foundation, and this shade is actually just a hair too dark for me. This is my summer color, but I ran out of my lighter color this morning. I was so upset. I actually ran out of a few things, but I did what I could with what I had. So I will just dot this all over my face, and I'll either use a Real Techniques blending sponge, or I will use a Real Techniques foundation brush. They are one of my absolute favorite brands. After I get my foundation on, I will go in with my concealer, which I use the um, Maybelline Age Rewind. Uh, I feel like everybody uses this, but I was super sad. This is one of the other things I ran out of this morning. Hashtag busy mom life. I can never grab more uh, makeup when I need it, but I did my best with what I had and I will just put that underneath my eyes, on my nose, a little bit on my forehead, and then usually a little bit on my chin as well. I am well aware that I look terrifying without eyebrows and with these giant lashes. I look like some kind of ogre beast, but um, yeah, it gets better once I get some actual brows on. <laughs> And to set my foundation and concealer, I will go under my eyes with a smaller brush, just with some translucent uh, pressed powder. I bounce all over the place. Sometimes I'll use the Laura Mercier. This is honestly just the Maybelline um, Fit Me Translucent Pressed Powder, and I will um, press that into my more problem areas that will crease. So like my forehead and then underneath my eyes, and then I take this bigger um, Real Techniques brush um, and I'll just do that all over the rest of my face. Here I'm just going in with a little uh, blush and contour duo that I honestly just got in one of my Ipsy bags one month. And that's what I'm using since I am out of all of my other makeup right now. This did the trick pretty well today. I was pretty impressed. Um, I've got to say some of the stuff in the Ipsy bags I'm not overly happy with, but this was not too bad of a combo. Okay, so here I'm just going in with a little bit of my Physicians Formula Highlighter. This is one of my favorite drugstore highlighters. I don't know why I didn't show you guys the package of it, but uh, that is what I am using here in this clip. And I went a little crazy on the highlighter just because we do um, have a photo shoot today, so I was trying to go over the top just a teeny bit. All right, guys, and here I'm just going in and making some brow magic happen. I'm using the Maybelline. Uh, Brow Define and I've been using this for a few years now. It's very comparable to the Anastasia Beverly Hills pencil and I love it. And these are the two shades that I am using today. My crease and my lid from the Morphe 35O palette. And then I hop in and start my eyeliner. I get so many questions as to how I do my winged eyeliner. 
and this is how I do it you guys. All right, so I will line my Epic eyeliner pen from NYX. Eyeliner pens are key here, you guys. I will line it with the end of my eyebrow and I will drag it to the line that I have created on my eyelid. Now this is how I get equal or even um, wings every single time is by lining up to the edge of my eyebrows. Okay, and lips. I don't show it here, but I use either the MAC Blankety or I will use the MAC Teddy. Whoa, is me. Whoa. Kaya, don't hang on that, honey. You're gonna make the hey, cake hey, fall. Hey, hey. Yep. <laughs> I'm just recording you. Why? Because it's a get ready with me for family photos, so I'm showing what our outfits look like. I'm gonna have you show mine in a second. I love you. <laughs> okay. This is my outfit. I'll have everything linked down below as to where I got it. I got this from a local boutique. Um, it's like a cardigan with the elbow pads. I got this from no other than Tajay. And honestly, this is just like a tank top I got from Target for like $4. And my... Leggings are from, I believe, Target as well. So, yeah, I think it'll be a nice little maternity outfit. Yeah. My favorite maternity leggings are from Target. So, oh, 32, almost 33 week belly, right hither. We got like a little over a month left. <laughs> Come here, let me see you. <laughs> All right, you guys, well, that is going to wrap it up for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this get ready for family photos with me. I hope you enjoy our outfits, our festive holiday outfits. And like I said, once we have the photos available, um, I will share them on my Instagram. So make sure that you are following me over on Instagram to see how they turn out and see what this little baby bump looks like. It's going to be crazy. Family photos are always like super nuts, but you know. I've got chocolate in my purse, so hopefully that will help Kaya to behave. So, all right. Thank you so much for tuning into today's video. Be sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you did like it and subscribe to my channel before you leave. I would really love if you joined our little family here on YouTube and I'll see you guys sometime in the very near future. Okay, bye guys. <laughs> she just loves that you're talking her up right now. <laughs> She's literally like soaking it in right now. <laughs> <laughs> you are amazing. You are amazing. Okay, let's take some pretty pictures, huh? So mommy has Christmas cards. <laughs>